Good Sunday morning, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with the Sunday morning edition of News Channel 3's video weather blog, Weather Overtime. We've had some rain showers and thunderstorms in the Mid-South overnight. A flash flood warning in effect for DeSoto County up until about 8.30, issued by the National Weather Service earlier on today. And temperatures will be on the hot side once again. Forecast in the red bar down at the bottom portion of your screen with mostly cloudy skies and isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms throughout the rest of the day today and unfortunately into this evening. So outdoor activities could be looking at some scattered problems out there. So remember, indoors is your best bet when thunderstorms are in and around the area. So please keep that in mind just to make certain that you stay safe out across much of the Mid-South into the rest of the day today. The other big weather story beside the chances of showers and thunderstorms in the Mid-South is a heat advisory in effect for much of the area. Northeast Mississippi, Corinth down to Oxford, has been left out of the heat advisory as conditions are not expected to be quite as brutal where the heat is expected to be again about 105 degrees plus on the heat index side of things. So please keep that in mind if you have any outdoor activities. Outdoor activities involving work, exercise, cooler parts of the day, early during the morning after the sun has set, that's going to be your best bet for making certain that you stay safe out there. High temperature yesterday, nowhere near the triple digits that we saw on Friday. Matter of fact, we didn't even get out of the 80s on Saturday. Hottest temperature in the United States, according to the Weather Prediction Center from NOAA, 121 degrees in Death Valley, California. So as you can see, it could always be worse. A little bit of rainfall this morning at the home of the king of rock and roll. No visitors as of early this morning. But going to be, again, a lot of people showing up, especially in the next few days and weeks as we get closer toward Elvis Week in August. Welcome to the Mid-South if you're dropping by for that. Not everybody picking up rainfall this morning. Ole Miss campus area getting its makeover before the school year starts. Looking a lot better there. And looking also at a few clouds on the horizon for the top portion of your screen. Rain on the camera lens at Olive Branch, Mississippi, from former mayor of Olive Branch, Sam Reichert's webcam on the weather underground system. So some scattered showers around northern parts of Mississippi. All for the day yesterday, our high temperature officially 88 degrees, 4 degrees below for this time of the year. A low temperature of 3 degrees above normal, 74 is where we should be, 77 is where we wound up yesterday. Record high today, 102 set back in 1934. We will not be coming close to that, fortunately, throughout the course of the rest of the day into the next several days. Earthquakes it directly in the Mid-South area, not detecting anything. A couple of them just north of the Boot Heel, Missouri, up toward the New Madrid area and around the central part of the New Madrid seismic zone, but nothing taking place directly in the Mid-South counties in the last 24 hours. Precipitation, 14 hundredths of an inch officially for Memphis, which means we're still ahead for the month by about two-thirds of an inch. And for the year, we picked up that huge amount of rainfall February into March, and that gave us, again, a pretty good surplus so we are still nine inches ahead for the entire year so definitely good news on that wildfire danger not much to report this time reporting low conditions low possibilities of fire danger out there drought is increasing across the area we could use a little bit more rainfall out there but into the mid-south as of sunday morning we're not seeing anything in the way of new burn bans issued across much of the area sun rose today at 603 will set tonight at 809 pretty close to that into tomorrow by just a few seconds less 14 hours and five minutes of daylight today, 14 hours, 4 minutes as we get into Monday. Chances of showers and thunderstorms off and on throughout the rest of the morning into the area. for mid to upper 80s, close to 90 degrees by lunchtime. Into early during the afternoon, chances of showers and thunderstorms more concentrated, more numerous across the Mid-South, so expecting more chances of showers and thunderstorms here and there. They'll develop, they'll drift, they'll collapse, they'll start back over again. That'll be the recipe throughout the course of the rest of the day. So if you're heading out the door pretty soon, and won't be back until later on this afternoon into this evening. Take the umbrella with you. You may need that through News Channel 3 at 5. And around News Channel 3 at 10, the chances of rain will be dwindling, but still possible in parts of the Mid-South as temperatures remain very toasty back in the mid-80s by the time we hit News Channel 3 at 10. Heading into tomorrow morning, News Channel 3 daybreak on the air at 4.30. Don't forget Todd and Murr's forecast coming up. Lower to mid-70s across much of the area. If that, for the metro, mid to upper 70s possible there. 
anticipate seeing some pretty warm conditions into Monday, but hopefully not enough to justify a heat advisory for the Mid-South. Temperatures today very close to normal, just a degree or two above in the lower 90s with isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms for the Mid-South. Take that forecast and repeat it tomorrow and you got a pretty good idea what we're going to be looking for. Lower to mid 90s for highs, mid to upper 70s for low temperatures. And again for Tuesday, not much going to be changing. Pretty typical temperatures as we round out July and head toward August next weekend. Numbers back in the lower to mid 90s across much of the area as we get into Friday and into around next weekend or so, staying pretty close to where we should be. Again, a very typical late July week coming up. And next weekend, chances of showers and thunderstorms will remain in the area with numbers continuing to see some pretty wild numbers at night back in the mid to upper 70s or so. Chances of showers and thunderstorms, not total coverage, but not exactly clear either. So every single day for outdoor activities, swimming pool, church camp, volunteer work outdoors, corporate retreat, whatever you've got going on, You've got, again, the possibility of some thunderstorms out across the Mid-South. So please remember, when thunder roars, go indoors. Let's all be safe out there where it comes to chances of showers and thunderstorms into the Mid-South area. Don't forget to check out our forecast on the radio. It's available throughout the weekend on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network, Country 92.5 and 102.3. We'll have a forecast update on AM 730 coming up bright and early Monday morning on Yahoo Sports Radio. And, of course, we'll have forecast updates around the rest of the day on WRAG com slash weather and also looking at more details coming up tonight on news channel 3 at 5 and 10 right after golf and into this evening again updates to get you started on your week weather showing again the possibility of more showers and thunderstorms out there as we update your seven day forecast for you coming up into the near future so stay tuned for more on that questions concerns ideas compliments hopefully there's some out there someplace austin.onic at wrg.com send them to me and we'll see if we can include stuff like that on our regular feature here on news channel 3 that's it for this edition of weather overtime more coming up tonight again on news channel 3 on air and online from the first defense doppler 3 weather center i'm meteorologist austin onic thanks for joining me